It's Friday morning, it's 7 a.m. and it's time to go and get the van serviced. After contacting a Fiat specialist for the service and uh, getting the quote, I thought, hmm, no, nah. <laughs> I'm not paying that. What I've decided to do is get it serviced at a local garage. Now this local garage is conveniently right behind where I work. They can only do up to uh, MOT, it's up to three and a half tonne. They can do van conversions, but coach builts and A-classes I don't think will fit in their, uh, the entrance to the, to the actual uh, bay areas so it's um, I think a maximum of 2.9 or 2.8 we are just under 2.8 so we can just about get in there I'll film it going in and show you all and I'll also give you a rundown of um, the price that I, I was quoted from Fiat and what I'm be paying for this service for all the parts and labour included but first uh, I'm gonna go and get some diesel for this weekend This is all the parts. Where's the parts? Is this all the parts? Whoa, the size of that. So these are Fiat, real Fiat parts. What is everything there, Nick? So this oil, this grey oil is the correct oil for Fiat, isn't it? Yeah. Your air filter, your column filter. Air filter, column filter, fuel filter, fuel filter, filter. and oil filter. So that's the height, and a uh, coach built, unfortunately, won't get in there, unless it's a low, low profile one, but then they can also only do up to three and a half tonne, as I've just said. So I've just pulled out the old air filter for it. Don't look too bad, really. Yeah. I don't want to try and lift it on the ramp. Yeah. It's too big for the ramp. That's the same. So we're going to do bits of it outside and bits of it while we're waiting to get in to the workshop. Pull and filter underneath the glove box. Is it a glove box or the... Yeah, like a cubby hole. That one or... Yeah, this one, yeah. Oh, on the centre one. Yeah, you've got three screws at the top. You've got your three... T20 torques there. Yeah. Three T20 torques there. Uh huh. Yes. More screws. Yeah. 5.5 mil. I bet they hardly get changed, you know. Probably not. One dirty pollen filter. Lovely. The real deal. On the airflow. Reverse order. Enough screws in there. Yeah. At least it stops the dash from rattling. Yeah. Is 
clip in the middle there. Yeah, I don't know, it's I'm screwed in from the back. Mm. Might be just to hold a screw yeah. on the back panel. I've got to put this bit down here. Oh, yeah. you've ever seen anyone work on it. One pollen filter. One pollen filter. <laughs> okay, time to uh, reverse it over an MOT ramp. <laughs> Just perfect. A Fiat Citroen Peugeot used Valio or Perflux years ago. Oh, Fiat Alpha. Yeah, oh yeah. Advanced, yeah. Okay. I was a bit concerned about the clearance at the top, but especially the top of the uh, TV aerial. Big hole as well. Oh, and L6 litres, I think. I did wonder what that tool was for, it looked rather mean. <laughs> <laughs> TV extractor. Yes. Lovely. So the pollen filter's in, the air filter's in, the oil filter is on. Just gonna put the oil in now and then after that run it up, correct? Yep. <clears throat> run it up and then uh, the what? Diesel filter. Diesel filter. The diesel, diesel filter, yeah. And then that's it I think, isn't it? Try a bit more. Tiny bit more. Nine liters, I think she Five point nine liters. Uh should you start it up Mike? Yep. Fill we'll the do. filter up and then we'll reach the level. We'll do. fuel fuel would come out. The ones that spin everywhere. Yes! One diesel filter. Oh, okay. So apparently the diesel filter goes inside that. I didn't even know. Inside that. <laughs> I thought that was it. Diesel spillage going on. <laughs> yeah, sure. Is it? Yeah, it's black. Should it be like that? Mm. Oh, it should be. <laughs> oh well. Lovely. Yeah, thank you very much. Is that all done? Yep. Lovely, brilliant. Only one thing left. What's that? You need a pay.
All right, that's it. Job done, paid up. Uh, two hours labor, that was. And I had, as you know, genuine parts. You don't have to use genuine parts, but I like to keep it all uh, as intended. Um, but 392 pound total bill, as I said, two hours labor. There's all the parts there. If you want to um, uh, pause your TV and take a look. So, yeah, well happy, well happy with that. I'm uh, considering what you'd have to pay if you went to a, a dealership, Fiat dealership. But uh, yeah, I'm I'm pleased with what the boys did. Very grateful. Thank you very much to Auto Speed. And uh, if you're in the area, passing through or whatever, and you want to get your van serviced, these are the guys to do it. Auto Speed is all you need. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.